Yo, what is up guys, it's Pedro here, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about who should be the starting quarterback for the Washington football team against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, should it be Alex Smith, or should it be Taylor Heineke, and also, I'm going to be talking about Ron Rivera's comments today about possibly rotating the two quarterbacks in. If you guys are new, make sure to subscribe for Washington and NFL content, so let's get right into the video. Okay, so first let's start off with who should be the starting quarterback against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and this is a tough one. If you watch the game against the Eagles, Alex Smith went 17 for 22 with two touchdowns and no interceptions in the first half. Actually played some pretty good football, wasn't super mobile, but was able to make up with, uh, for that with his accuracy. And, you know, we were able to move the football on two drives and score two touchdowns. We're perfect in the red zone and played pretty solid football. 17 points in the first half. We've barely done that this year in the first half of football games. But in the second half, he was less mobile and also less accurate. And that... Alex Smith is not good enough at all to win you a playoff game, especially when you're going up against Tampa Bay and their high-flying offense. So that's the debate right there. But the thing is, with Alex Smith versus Taylor Heineke, Alex Smith is 5-1 this year when he starts and 2-8 and eight when, uh, when he doesn't. The team is 2-8 and eight when he doesn't start. So obviously, if Alex Smith isn't able to go or if you have to put in Taylor Heineke, in the second half, you don't really know what you're going to get out of him. That's really the big the big issue with me. You know, in his relief appearance for Dwayne Haskins, he actually played pretty solid. Went 12 for 19 with a completion percentage about 63%, 137 yards, one touchdown. It was a little bit of soft coverage, but he barely got any time to practice and was really, you know, impressive nonetheless. And in Carolina, in six games in 2018, had a completion percentage about 61%, 320 yards, one touchdown, and three interceptions. The good thing about him is he knows the system, but you don't know what you're going to get out of him in the playoffs. That's the biggest thing with him. You just have no idea. So this is what I would personally do is I would start Alex Smith. I mean, the guys around him, they respond to him as a leader and as a player. So that's what I would do. I would start him and keep him on a short leash, you know, because he looks somewhat impressive in that first half. There were times where he wasn't able to evade the pressure and just took some bad sacks, but he was also, he also made some really good throws. So if you're seeing that in the first half, then I would consider starting him. Or if you're seeing that, you know, in practice um, leading up to the game, I would consider starting him and obviously depends on how he responds to the game. If he's feeling worse, if he's any worse health-wise than he was in that game, then I don't think you should start him at all. But I think he's going to be slightly better of another full week or six days of rest. Should improve that a bit. And I really think it might have to come to Taylor Heineke closing out the game. I'm not necessarily saying that's what I'm advocating for, but I think that here's a stat right here for you guys. Alex Smith, this is last game, 19 for 20 for 135 yards and two touchdowns when passing from a clean pocket. But when he faced pressure, he was just three for 12 for 27 yards and two interceptions. So that just showed, you know, his lack of mobility and how good he was when there was no pressure and how bad he was when there was pressure so that's an, another thing you have to think about if you're Scott Turner and you're thinking you're not going to be able to protect um, Alex Smith from the, they have a really good pass rush so if you think you can't do that then you also have to consider starting Taylor Heineke um, you know but they have to develop the game plan around quick passes they did that a little bit in the Eagles game but start to do uh, you know I love that first drive by them uh, in the game where they you know, marched right down the field and got that touchdown. First opening drive touchdown of the season. I want to see more of that from Alex Smith. And this is what was reported today. And don't know if it's like kind of a smoke screen by uh, Ron Rivera, but he did say Washington has to consider rotating quarterbacks, Alex Smith and Taylor Heineke against Tampa Bay. And that could be the smart thing to do just because, you know, Alex Smith, if Alex Smith can produce you a good half of football, 
open. You see in the third quarter, his first or second drive, that he's struggling. You know, he's way less mobile than he was in the second half. That you might consider putting Taylor Haneke in there for a drive or two and seeing how he does. You also want to see, you know, what Taylor Heineke can do because it could be that he is, you know, he can't do anything against this Tampa Bay Buccaneers defense. Or maybe he's better than we thought and he can produce um, a couple scoring drives and finish out the game. Who knows? This is going to be a very, very interesting situation because we just have no idea what's going to happen and, you know, how Alex Smith's injury is going to progress. But one thing that we do know, it's going to be very hard for Alex Smith to be able to be our starter in 2021. You know, just his in I, I personally think he's going to retire. We'll see, though, with his injuries, it's just going to be hard for him to finish a full season. But that's what I would do personally. Give Alex Smith the starting job. Give him a short leash, so put him on a short leash. If you're seeing the Alex Smith from the second half, you know you're not going to have a chance to win that game. So you might as well, in that second or third drive, if you're seeing what you saw from Alex Smith in that second half of that Philly game, then you should consider putting in Taylor Heineke. But what I think is going to happen, they're going to give Alex Smith the start as long as he's as healthy as he was in that Philly game. They're going to give him the start, see how he does, and, you know, maybe put in Taylor Heineke and in Taylor Heineke in in that second half if Alex Smith starts to struggle and if that calf injury continues to bother him because like I said earlier he you can say whatever you want about his mobility and how ugly it looked but he was producing in that first half 17 for 22 131 yards and two touchdowns one of the sacks was on him definitely one other sack though JD McKissick just got bulldozed and that wasn't necessarily his fault. So they're going to have to. That's going to be, I'm going to make my preview video, but that's going to be one of the keys to victory. You are going to have to protect Alex Smith if you have any chance of winning this game if he's our starter. Because if he, I mean, you guys saw the stat. If he's under pressure, especially against this pass rush, which is pretty solid, you're not going to be able to do much and you're probably going to go uh you're going to have to go to Taylor Heineke, who is somewhat mobile. So that is a good thing. You know, he's going to be able to evade the pressure a little bit more than Alex Smith. But the thing, like I said earlier, I know I know a lot of people love Taylor Heineke. You just don't know what you're going to get out of him. You just don't know at all. You could get some solid football and you could get some interceptions. You could get what he was in 2018. So, um, but regardless if Alex Smith plays or not, we're going to have to rely on the run game to make the quarterback feel comfortable. That's what we're going to have to do because we're going to have to run the ball more successful successfully than we did against the Eagles because we don't want Alex Smith dropping back 32 times in a game. Let's uh you know rely on that run game and protect protect Alex Smith bring in some more tight ends I know you guys don't like it but bring in Jeremy Sprinkle to block a little bit more because we Alex Smith needs time, and that's our really our only chance in this game. So let me know what you guys have to say in the comments down below. Like I said, I would like to start Alex Smith. You know, he's won us five games this year as a starter. Let him finish the job, and if he's struggling, then go ahead and put Taylor Heineke in. That's my take. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please smash that like button, subscribe if you guys are new, and turn on those post notifications so you never miss a video. 